Hi, welcome to Kit Plus Daily. It's Thursday, the 23rd of April 2020. Uh, we are still in lockdown, but rest assured we are also still social distancing. Of course, and thank you for the feedback we've had from uh, the last week's shows. Uh, we are trying and testing different things every every time we do a show. You know, we're not normally in front of the camera. Uh, this man, however, is. Uh, he's normally right now um, on the final day of NAB uh, talking to, to exhibitors. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we've recorded over 1,500 interviews so far since 2010 and met some great friends along the way, as well as showing the breaking news from shows such as IBC and NAB. And although we can't travel, uh, we can link via the virtual studio. So stay tuned for our special guest who's coming up after the news. And that news begins today with uh, Photon Beard, who have uh, today launched a brand new light called the Element Tile 140. Uh, Photon Beard have taken the best elements um, in the industry and fitted them into their tried and tested housing. Uh, it's an, in a metal shell uh, with ventilation to ensure no fans are required. And they've also added a universal power supply and a battery option to allow you to use this light anywhere you like. A light and colour temperature can be controlled locally on the back of the housing or via the built-in DMX decoder. A Zigbee wireless controller uh, can operate multiple lights in uh, four zones. The light engine uses Roscoe LED tape, which is designed for the most dramatic lighting applications. Uh, and the softness is enhanced by a, a Kotec super panel. And moving on to Object Matrix and Signiant have announced improved workflow compatibility between Matrix Store, the award-winning storage solution, and Signiant Media Shuttle. So Signiant Media Shuttle offers organizations an enterprise-grade SaaS solution that makes it easy, fast, and secure for people to send, share, and access any size file from anywhere in the world. And Matrix Store is a media-focused private and hybrid cloud solution that was built on object storage technology. It allows media companies to keep content secure and protected whilst ensuring its easy access and discoverability at all times. It also provides scale, security, and future-proof access to both content and metadata. Cool, right. So also we've got uh, news from mobile encoding specialist at Mobile Viewpoint. They have launched a new all-in-one mobile camera system for live streaming. Uh, it's called Trolley Live. It's designed for journalists, reporters, presenters who are currently in lockdown and being forced to work from home due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, it's an all-in-one mobile camera system. The, uh, it's a new concept where the camera and encoder are contained into one mobile unit. Um, it's easy to set up, easy to operate, so you know, not a steep learning curve for, for, the, for the talent. Uh, and it's got a screen that can be used for return video or as an auto cue if you so wish. Sounds good. Hmm. And it's now time for today's special guest. Welcome to Chris Hampton from Holden. Hi, Chris. I hope you're well and the team at Holden are doing OK. Welcome to the show. Can you, uh, you tell us what you've been up to the last, uh, the last month since we've been locked down? Hey, guys, thank you very much for having me here. All good hour end. I hope all is well with you guys, too. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been fairly busy, uh, the Holden side of things, because, of course, as everyone's sort of retreating and um, going down into lockdown, uh, of course, been a massive live streaming so we've seen a real shift of our business from obviously serving everything including cine productions uh, live tv etc and really focusing now on live streaming setups uh, in particular uh, people who have never really streamed before and uh, we've been doing some webinars offering a lot of support really to sort of give people the knowledge that they need to in terms of if they're going to ditch their webcam laptop what are the next steps that they need to take in terms of doing a live stream that looks professional and ultimately gives a better experience to, to their audience. Thanks, Chris. That's great. So obviously there's uh, normally a spat of new products coming out this time of year, certainly a couple from Black Magic. Do you want to uh, give us an update on some of the ones that you guys are dealing with? Uh, yeah, I mean, very well timed, to be fair, given the current climate of things. Uh, the other week we had uh, an announcement from Black Magic announcing the new ATEM Mini Pro, 
uh, for those of you who somehow haven't heard about it by now, it is uh, the newest addition to the A10 Mini lineup, so it's the pro version. And it's a, it's a really fantastic piece of kit. It's sort of, I describe it as an all-in-one, one-stop solution for live streaming, especially if you're doing it, you know, remotely from home or if you're traveling with your live stream instead of obviously the traveling side of things will happen a little bit further down the line than we can do. Um, but this one device uh, allows you to have four HDMI inputs, so you can have 1080 uh, 50p inputs going into it. Um, has a built-in live streaming encoder, so you don't have to rely on the software encoding with a computer or a laptop. You know, ATEM Pro will do the grunt of that work. Of course, you've got all the ATEM sort of features that we've come to know that are relatively, you know, quite forward-thinking and advanced for all the price points. So you've got advanced green screen in there, you've got a media player in there, you've got Fairlight audio engine, and of course, all of that can be controlled. Uh, remotely through the software control panel. So at the moment, that's taking up uh, a lot of our time here in terms of getting the product out there and educating uh, resellers and end users as to what this thing can do. And so if you know anyone's out there doing live streaming, which hopefully they are, um, what's your top tips at the moment for live streaming? Um, top tip, I think... In general, for live streaming, uh, regardless of what you're doing, um, would be to keep it simple. Uh, the less things there are to go wrong, the less things will actually go wrong. So, <laughs> of course, the, the more streamlined and simple your, your streaming setup is, uh, the more success you've got of uh, actually doing a stream where nothing actually caves or fails. Um, I'd also say as well, um, try and use kit that is taking a lot of the processing power, a lot of the grunt work away from the likes of computers and laptops. We've seen loads of people who've just started streaming. They're streaming and relying on uh, their normal everyday laptop, their work laptop. And of course, if you're trying to run complex streams with lots of different video sources, it can be almost overpowering for, for those computers. So we're trying to push people towards dedicated pieces of hardware, for example, like the A10 Mini Pro that we've been talked about today, um, because it handles all of that processing, all of that grunt work, so then you can just use your laptop to monitor and engage with your audience. So that would be my top, top tips. Keep it simple and also try and use kit that will do all that hard work for you that's been designed to do that. That's great. Thanks very much, Chris. Uh, thanks for coming on. And uh, I'm sure people can find you online giving these tips uh, on, on, on certain sessions you're doing. Is that true? Yep, that's right. Yeah, if you want to find out a little bit more about um, what we're doing in terms of live streaming and webinars, etc., then you can just go onto the Holden website. Great. Thanks again. See ya. Cheers, guys. And if you're a PR agency, a manufacturer, a distributor with news that you want to have aired on the show, then check out the Kit Plus press room. Uh, for details on adding your news, you can go to kitplus.com forward slash help, and there's a short video to show you how to do just that. Yes, and if you want to come on the show, then please do get in touch. And do tweet us at kitplusuk uh, for any questions, comments, or use the email on screen now. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully catch up, uh, see you tomorrow, uh, and we'll have more guests, more news, and uh, everything you won't want to miss. Cheerio. Okay. Sounds good. Mm. And it's now time for today's special guest. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to cut before that. Like, <laughs> I was looking at you. Everyone looked at me. <laughs> really slow Mexican wave. <laughs> I, yeah, it was. Yeah, you said special guest, and and look.